coming up on a tip that could lead them to forensic evidence from a cold case that is more than 20 years old. Thank you for joining us tonight at 5 o'clock, everyone. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Ketz. krk 4s Caitlin Reardon is live tonight in BB, where investigators spent much of the day searching. Caitlin, what can you tell us? Bob and Ashley, they actually just wrapped up that search right now, and they're in the process of moving that equipment out. As far as we know, according to the sheriff, that search did not yield the results they were hoping for. I got a, a phone call from a good friend saying that it's down here in the parking lot doing a little excavate. For Keith Kirk, this isn't the first time he's come to this Ace Hardware parking lot in BB with high hopes. They've been out here before uh, and didn't find nothing. The White County Sheriff says investigators are using heavy equipment to search part of the parking lot for forensic evidence linked to one of the county's cold cases. We're here today acting on some new information that we re re recently obtained uh, that led us to being able to obtain a search warrant signed by a judge. Keith believes the search is connected to his brother, Douglas Kirk, who went missing back in August of 1995. But we've come to realize that it's a good possibility that he, he is dead. He says his family has struggled for years with no answers, and he hopes the search will provide new evidence so they can finally have some closure. It would give you relief and, and, and a comfort, you know, and to bring him home and put him where you could go talk to him. You know, take a flower. Now, just about 30 minutes ago, the sheriff did come over because over the course of the day, many of Douglas Kirk's family members came out here and were watching that search take place. Uh, the sheriff did confirm f to us and, of course, to family members that they didn't find any, any new evidence today and that the search was, in fact, to look for Douglas Kirk's remains in this area. But they say they're not going to give up. They will continue to investigate this case and uh, see if they can follow up on any other leads. Report Reporting live in BB tonight, I'm Caitlin Reardon, KRK4 News.